Right, like regular shipping pallets. Yes. So, just so that folks can see, these are this is a standard size. These are standard size pallets. Some of them have been looks like sawed in half. Yes. But um, you know, it's a you know great renewable, reusable source. And this tall one in the back is being used for the um, resistance bars, and you get a little landscaping in the process. So that's the active or the physically active half of it. And then over here, we have our land of mental activity. That's right. And the whole purpose of using the recycled pallets is that this is kind of a new thing for America to install these parklets. And we wanted to show that you don't have to spend a lot of money to make this happen. You can create a really great public space that will serve your community and bring people together for just a little bit of money. And pallets are really great, too, because obviously they didn't cost us anything. Um, they're really durable. And if something happens to them, there's always more pallets. So we can rebuild our parklet if we need to. So on to the more mental side of the parklet. So over here, what's really great is that we have this shared library. These are also something that's popping up across the nation. We actually have a few in Baltimore here, and it's a book swap. So take a book, leave a book. It's all about the community and working together. Um, and 
we've put in there some books that are focused on some of the aging population, but there's also, and then up over here, some books for children. And I want to make sure we show how you set up this children's area yes. over here. Yeah, so we have a little nook with some pillows perfect. and some books. And this is great because oftentimes our 50 plus folks have their grandchildren with them and it's great that they can spend time together and it gives them both a mental activity. Um, for those grandparents who want to, they can get down on the grass mm -hmm. with their grandchildren and read to them. So it's really nice. I and, I, and I love how the bookshelf is literally it's just part of the palette. Yes. It works perfectly and that is the way you do a bookshelf for small children. That's yes. perfect. We also have an aromatherapy garden right over there. Oh, let's see. Scents are very important. And we also have it right by the exercise. Okay. And speaking of our 50 plus population, Jean Anthony with AARP just arrived. Hi. Hi, Jean. How are you doing? It's my pleasure to meet you. Good, Thank you for good. your interest in the parklet. This is great. By all means. So, why did AARP want to get into the. Um, want to get into the world of talking about um, parklets and, and really um, strategic interventions or uh, temporary innovations. So we focus very much on livable communities issues and uh, the reason that we do that is that our members tell us that they want to stay in their homes and in their communities as they get older. And we know that for the most part the communities aren't designed appropriately to support them. So what we like to do is to demonstrate different ways that communities can get engaged in changing just the look, the feel, the way services are delivered. And so um, we've been a sponsor of this conference for several years. We uh, always try to conduct sessions that help bring aging population issues into the conversation mm -hmm. and when we thought about a parklet interjecting one that really was designed to support having our elders feel comfortable outdoors being able to physically engage and be socially engaged in an environment that they felt safe and secure was really important to us and so we were delighted to be able to partner with Melissa and others to bring this parklet and to really show the aging uh, the value of thinking of our elders when we build these outdoor spaces. Wonderful. Thank you.